Hey, what's up girls and guys? Today we're talking about my favorite tools, websites, and extensions for Reddit marketing. And if you're not a marketer, stick around too because you will love to play around with some of these. Some great analytics tools, some great extensions, uh, just all around will make you more knowledgeable about Reddit, make your Reddit experience better, and you can dive deeper into some data than you've ever even known. All right, let's begin. Uh, I'm Kurt, uh, I do online marketing for a living, and today uh, we're just gonna be going on Reddit. This is another video in that Reddit series I continue to do. So yeah, if you feel free to check me out anywhere else on my links below. All right, first off, what I wanna talk about is of course, numero uno, we're not even gonna wait, Reddit Enhancement Suite. Now, if you don't know what the Reddit Enhancement Suite is, it is the best tool for online marketing. Let me just tell you, there's no comparison. Uh, I mean, well, not for online marketing, for Reddit browsing. Uh, I mostly use Firefox, but uh, yeah, if you want, uh, it's on Chrome, it's on everything. It's literally, I mean, just look at that. It's on all of it. But Reddit Enhancement Suite, what it does, uh, it's like literally everything. You can switch in and out accounts really quick. You can like save more stuff, tag things. There's just it adds so many tools to your arsenal, just like things that uh, Reddit has added over the years have actually been on this application first. Um, especially if you're like a mod or something, like this helps out a lot. Um, but yeah, you can save a lot more stuff and it's not as important these days, but it's still cool. With the new layout of Reddit, a lot of people just use that. But I'd still say check out Red RES. It's the famous, the one, the only. You know, it's on every browser. Uh, definitely helps with Reddit. Uh, I, there's no, I don't even know how to browse Reddit on desktop without it anymore. All right, next, and none of these are in particular order either. Uh, I would say is any uh, photo enlarger that you just hover and have your photo uh, boom go up with. Um, so Magis on Firefox, or of course the famous hover zoom on Google Chrome. Uh, whatever you're, whatever browser you're on, just get one that just you can do a little hover zoom. It's great. Uh, really, just you don't have to click. Just it just makes things easier in life. And trust me, we're gonna get into some more analytical stuff in one second. Next up, we got Reddit Check. Um, what is Reddit Check? It'll check if uh, you have if your current URL is already submitted to Reddit. If it is, you can go like comment on there. Now this isn't like key, mostly I would use this tool if I'm like trying to see has someone already submitted this cool thing I found online like in the past hour to a subreddit. Um, but it also just helps you see who else is like, you can be like researching some stuff, you know, it's like is uh, someone pushing this product, you know, if there's a URL, if you see an ad somewhere else online, you, you can quickly do some checks online. Uh, yeah, so I have this installed on Chrome. but. That's a cool one. Next, really great one, Snoop Snoo. So that's, uh, I'll put all these URLs, by the way, down below in the doodly do. Uh, Snoop Snoo, you can literally look up any, uh, like, Nerf or, uh, any, uh, this is mostly used for Reddit, random Redditors, like, like you, you know, profiles. profiles. So you, you can, can do, do an, an analysis. On anyone. You, you can look, look up your friends, friends. you can look, look up some guys you see online. online. Is he a shill? Is he not a shill? Look at the numbers, check it out. Uh, I don't know how you would know from just this, but it's just kind of fun. Check out your own profiles too. Um, it's just a fun little one, Snoop Snoop. Apparently they're adding in some subreddit stuff, but we got better ones than that coming up next. We got, uh, so this is the first one for our analytics stuff. Next up, I'll talk about Reddit Insight. Uh, we downloaded the Reddit. What we found will surprise you. Yeah, you can track posts, single users. You can do this one's dumb. The view interaction. Like, they're not dumb. They're cool. They're fun to play around with. But really, if you want to track like what a user's doing, or you want to track real time post tracking, that is uh, probably a good cool things. Uh, the word clouds view interaction. I don't really use ever. I think I've just played around view interaction. I don't really get word word clouds. I guess it's for you to help think about the best like titles you know to give stuff but really if you want to see like you know you just come in here and you type in track post it's free but uh and same with track user you can do all that cool reddit insight definitely a good one if you want to like track uh all that shit 
But uh, top five subreddits make up 40.5% of all karma. Who would have known? All right, next up we got Reddit list. It is the list of everything. So right now I'm on safe for work. You can also switch it just to not safe for work. Uh, oh, sorry, right here, my bad. Um, and that's all that, and you can do all. Uh, used to be a lot more not safe for work, but they changed a lot of how they work. But you, it's kind of cool. Um, sorry, we don't even care about that. Uh, we look at growth, 24 hours, look at this. Uh, obviously this is everyone, 23 and me is getting back their Christmas kits. I bought my family them for Christmas. I bought my girlfriend and my mom, my sister, some 23 and me kits and myself. But uh, so I understand why that one's going up because everyone's receiving their info and stuff like that. But it's kind of cool to see. So like if you didn't get any 23 and me kits, you would be like, oh, I wonder why that's going up. But like it's kind of just cool to see because that's the 24 hour growth, all that stuff. Um, yeah, it is just a cool one to look at, get some note knowing what's going on on Reddit on a grander scale. Because really you get stuck in your subreddits and you don't see new things. And this is a cool one to just see that Reddit list. Next up, we got social listening for Reddit. Uh, you can track um, So this is a different one. This one has a free version and a paid version So the free version is free forever, but you can only think track two things at a time if I'm uh, Yeah But you can get alerts stats exclusions. You can do a lot. Uh, the free version is pretty cool uh, You can run two tracking campaigns and save up to 100 results It's uh for it's pretty cool test it around just like even if it's like two things you want to look at it's cool if you ever really got into Reddit marketing, definitely something you might want to pay for. I don't pay for it currently. I paid for it in the past, and I just didn't use it that much. I didn't really know what to use it for. I could get all the data for free from Altsor. Still cool to uh, do some stuff with. Next up, we got Karma Leaderboard. Um, so it's a leaderboard for Reddit. You can see all the people. Uh, so Caliboob, the infamous, the... If you guys want, uh, I'll post a link in the comments too. There's a great interview series by, I think they're called Point, they did with Galaboob. It was a three-parter. Um, cool series. I'll post that in the links, too. Uh, crazy. That dude, literally, Reddit is his job, his life. He's a moderator on, like, a ton of subs. He gets paid to be on Reddit. It's um, creepy. I blocked him. You know my best advice? If you see a super Redditor like that, a uh, non-marketing based, I mean, you wish to be like that, right? That's the dream, right? Uh, no, he, like, spends all day on Reddit. But... Um, I, I just block like these guys, the top people, these top spam posters, because it's just it's too much. Um, but yeah, you can see some cool stuff, and you know if you go on the next, well, normally this website works, but that's leaderboard for Reddit. All right, next we got later for Reddit. Now we're getting into the schedulers. So what's great about schedulers? You know, you probably have seen these on you know Facebook, Instagram, you know. Google, you, you can like schedule, you know, when you post things. Uh, Twitter is like, you know, Hootsuite, Buffer, things like that for other stuff. This is a good one. It's called Later for Reddit. Allows you to schedule posts um, and it'll like find the best time. You know, there are a lot of testing. So many people have done all these research studies uh, on best times and stuff. And I'll give you a website that shows the best times too uh, in a second, but. Honestly, best time is kind of, I don't want to say it's a myth because there's real data behind best times, but it changes so often. It's hard to just know when that is, but this is a great one. Uh, it's not all free uh, if you go into the pricing and plans. Uh, you get five times per month, but it's only 30 months, $30 a month for 30 times per month. That's not really much. As much as you need, you need to get in touch with them. It costs a lot, but it's a cool one. If you need it, uh, even if just to do a few, you know, make multiple accounts. Let me tell you, because you're going to be making multiple accounts, right? If you're a marketer, you're not just going to have one account. Uh, this is another one that's even more free. Um, there's no limits or anything. Cronit, it's not as good as the last one, but Cronit is a great free alternative. All right. Next one, the GitHub repository of Reddit data tools. Now, if you're like a big data analytics dude, this is what you want to get into. Um, the repository does so much, has so much data. It's kind of crazy. It's hard to use. Uh, it's fun. Look at all this raw data. Man, you can torrent it all. If you want to look at anything, go check it out. Look at how much data you can get. Uh, 
it's just kind of cool to mess around with. Uh, I don't know who, who's the author. Yeah, uh, Durham. Yeah, he posts. He has a subreddit too that he talks about it and stuff. Yeah, I think he had other people help him with it. It's cool. Uh, definitely something to play around with. Look at all the data. Have fun. <laughs> all right. Then cool subreddit. I just wanted to bring up while we're talking about all this analytics and tools. Subreddit stats. You just make a post about uh, subreddit. You can request like different data and stuff. Um, God, why is nothing loading? I don't know. But yeah, you do. This is how you do it. You subreddit a name, then a view. So it looks something like this. And then within like an hour or whatever, they'll return you some data. I think they scrub it like every 15 minutes and respond with some subreddit stats. But it's cool. Like So like our Detroit, I did a scrub for uh, a while ago and got like some of the top user data and stuff like that. Because it's interesting, especially on smaller subs, it's really helpful to like see who the actual active people are versus who the mods are, stuff like that. Uh, it's just good to know who you should probably interact with, to become friendly with, kind of, you know, who are the heads of the community? Because you really got to think of a subreddit like community, right? All right, that's a cool one. Next, Karma Decay. Uh, check to see if someone's stolen one of your images. Yeah, I mean, that sucks, but it's good to know, you know? It's reverse image search for Reddit. Uh, honestly, I like it better these days than Google's reverse image search. Ever since Google changed the reverse image search like a few months ago, I can't really use it correctly. Uh, but Karma Decay is all right. Uh, and then, of course, last but not least, post inspect. If you really want to know the times to post, uh, is is great. Uh, this updates too. So I think they update it. I don't know how often they update it, but it's, they don't stay... Ever. And, I, and you can schedule posts with them too, right? Yeah. Unlimited schedule posts per day, API for schedule posts, all free features. So yeah, uh, if you want to check these guys out, post inspect, pretty, pretty good. And I just love this little easy to look at timeliness, like, boom. Oh, our JavaScript, am I on that? But you can search a subreddit if you want, like, videos dude I think my internet went down oh fudge I don't know what's going on Maybe Reddit went down. Let's just blame Reddit. But either way, that's uh, all my add-ons, ex extensions, websites, and stuff that I would recommend if you're looking to get some more Reddit stuff. Um, but yeah, tell me uh, what are your guys' favorites? Did I miss any? What are your guys' favorite uh, subreddits? Wow, well, not favorite subreddits. Favorite tools, you know, do you guys personally use? Oh, and of course, I did actually forget one. Last but not least, of course... There is the Reddit ads info. Uh, yeah, sorry, Reddit ads. If you want to go to the dashboard, uh, this one is for all you guys. Uh, you're going to go to the metrics. You, you can see everything here. If you're logged in your account, have stuff running. Uh, not even that great, honestly, but you can put the Reddit pixel onto your website and stuff like that and track a lot of things. So that's about it. I always want to mention their own stuff because uh, you can get a lot of data from this. It might not be the most accurate, to be honest, but either way, Reddit ads, their in-house stuff. That is getting better every month. They do small updates every month, and it's getting better. It's getting closer to a real pay-per-click metrics and analytics source. We'll be there with by, like, 2022, I promise, guys. All right. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me Give me a like if you like this. Please subscribe. Uh, I'm going to keep posting more Reddit videos continuously for the rest of the this month and into February. All right. Thanks.